Oh, fuck me, look at that. 16,750 fucking tag. <sighs> fucking nice. Happy Friday, everyone. Today I have been flat out and I am loading right again the sun. Sun's in my eyes, so I'm concentrating because I don't want to break a bar off. And it's rough as. Anyway, for the last two or three weeks, I've been getting loads of messages people wondering am I banned off snapchat if you're looking at this on snapchat you know I'm clearly not banned off snapchat but I think what happens is every so often if snapchat I get reported a few times and they deem that I've been bold they remove me from subscription lists so I think once you re-add me everything should be fine look nothing I can do about it if you're talking to a lot of people and you're just talking truthfully and normally maybe even talking a little bit of shit you're gonna offend someone so you know Offence is subjective, so oh, if you're offended, got on my ball sack. <laughs> hey, take it handy now and don't fall off the bed. Huh? What? What? Tap hands. Tap hands. I'd say she's going to be crawling in no time. She's flying it. I'm actually minding her tonight for the first time. Yeah. I'm down in the bedroom. Minding Jane before Mammy comes home. Mm. Vicky's working there. I still have got away with not um, changing her nappy. <laughs> It'd be great if you didn't do a big shake. Until Vicky comes home. I don't know what all you women are whinging about. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. I drove to Galway. I done a day's work. I drove home. Clicked the kids. Fed them. I'm not dressed for bed. Baby's asleep. Easy peace. Easy peace. What? Oh my god. Uh, is that weird? Disgusting. <laughs> here. There's nothing in anything like that. All empty. Is it strange? Oh, no. Right, come on, we have a few jobs to do. Come on. Come on outside. I know, did you ever see it that long before? No, I didn't. Yeah, well, we're going to do that this weekend. And we've, we have to take this all apart and bring it up to the other house. <laughs> now that we're in the other house, I have to concentrate on getting this one sold. I have to take apart trampolines and slides and empty all the stuff out of the attic. And then I have to get a bursar and an engineer's report. And... Mad dog. Look Looking at it empty. You're weird. You hungry? Yeah. Alright, let's go get food and we'll come back after. Come on, go. 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 We're not going for McDonald's. I went over to Fogarty's in Port Leash and um, I was looking for a chainsaw for Clark. I ended up getting this one for him. It's just the right size and I think he's helped me. Uh... Oh! You ready for work? Is that a good job? Yeah. It even, um, <laughs> it came with a spare chain, look. Watch. Look, you have a spare chain if it gets rough. Mind your, mind your fingers. Be careful. Let your chain break. Ah! It's already started. I'm going to send you to your Uncle PJ to learn how to work it. Would that be a good idea? 
Would that be a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. Go cut some timber. Just lads, look at the shine off that. It's sitting pretty. Next week she is gonna be for sale and taking off the wheels um, tomorrow and I'm taking them to be refurbished. So. Come on, press that. Press that one. Get brushing. Are you doing a good job? Yeah. I'm going to check now because you have to be good at this or you'd make a show on me. And your daddy's good at stack. Do you do that? That is great work. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> come on, come on, stack, stack, quick. Stack it! Stack it! Stack it! Hey! Be nice. <laughs> It's good stacking. Ah, he's, he's like his old lad. That's some work. Now stack it. Stacking is the important part. Show me how good you can stack. Don't make a show of daddy. Yeah. Don't waste petrol. Are you happy with that? That's yeah. good stacking. That's good stacking now. Well done. I'm proud of you. Do it again. Do it again. It's like he's out He's good at stacking. There's lads, I haven't dropped the car in ages. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. She loves snuggles and cuddles and kisses. We got our internet. It's everything I hoped and dreamed for. Savage upload, savage download. But you can't bait the fibre. Hey kids, you're going to bed soon. Uh, hey, Clark, Dar you're going to bed. Yay! Me and Mammy are so happy. Oh no. No. job for today take that off take that off and then bring him with me tomorrow to Galway you couldn't sell a yoke with that kind of American and this one no, it's not bad but it's definitely not perfect anyway so I'm gonna whip them off now slap them into the back of the van and drop them off tomorrow before work that's his plan anyway, and yeah, I am extremely hungover and um, I've split the headache. Oh, it's my own fault. So. Ah, that's a Vicky's after telling me four times today. Anyway, ah, Clark, now you're all dirty, and Mammy's gonna give out to me for that. Here, put that down in case you get caught or something. I know you're probably saying, Jesus, David, what did you get? 
the mechanical part of the suspension all valid no 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 it all looks new because um that is all fucking new all of it now bring that over to me mammy won't let me leave the van on access stands because he'd 100 start fiddling with it good man fair play to you off. Try this. It does fit. Of course it fits. I took them off with it. Keep trying. Send it home, look. Now. Oh. Take your time. Nice and easy. Don't hit yourself in the face with it. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Keep going. Now, this one. Okay. No, easy. Off. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. That's it. That's it. This one. No, this one. That's it. Does it feel okay? Yeah. If you were down the red tr wrong trail, <laughs> I'd beat you to bed. I'll beat you. <laughs> Hard work, isn't it? And you have to be careful. What do you have to watch out for? That can fall on me. Yeah, it can fall on you. Don't because I'm a Now, I suppose some people would say you shouldn't have children doing stuff like that. You have to teach them. Teach them young. Isn't that right, Clara? Yeah. Yeah. Teach everyone young. Teach everyone young. What's that saying? I can't remember right now because my head is spinning. That is uh, moving. It's grand. Look. Oh, it's fine. Uh, prepare. The child for the road, not the road for the child. That's it. Is that a good saying? Yeah, because yeah. no, no child get far off. Here you go. Okay. Remember, be careful. The van's going to fall down. Easy. The other way. The other way. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> can we do that again? No, we can't do that again. No. Father and son. Going to do a bit of riding. Hey, stop pulling skids! Well, we go home. No, no. let's go again. We're just watching a program here. It's a home improvement program, and every time we watch something like this, <laughs> Vicky loses her mind over parquet floor. Just love it so much, don't you? I'm gonna get road at some stage for parquet flooring, aren't I? You are, you're gonna get absolute road. Imagine the pubs are opening tomorrow after COVID, all the small little pubs. Are they? Yeah, it's great. I didn't know that. Best to look to y'all. Do you know Cap Tagland, where I used to stay for ages? Yeah. You know Eddie Stankard? Yeah, the guy that's gonna give me a donkey. Eddie can fuck off if he thinks he's gonna give you a donkey. I know I'm gonna get that home from Galway. Anyway, in, the back um, anyway, I was chatting to Eddie the other day. And he about the donkey. No, his boyfriend's or his lover. I mean, his friend Eamon Delaney is opening the pub in Cabadagal. He's, he's terrified because they're lovers. You don't want anyone buying in. Yeah, not worried about the COVID at all. <laughs> Best of luck, lads. You know, and there's no shame. I'm not trying to make everything about myself. Okay, I'd never do such a thing. But seeing that the pubs are opening, my favorite pub. Is opening tomorrow as well. And, and Vicky, it's only walking distance from the house now. So I can literally come home, that get makes me dinner. Me very nervous. Hey, come home, get me dinner. Like in the good old days and say, hey, woman, you're <laughs> sickening me whole. And walk out the door, down to the pub. Oh, you wouldn't, David. And you get your dinner first. Pauline and, and Sean go. be real nice to me. They won't sick in me box. And I'll say, better have them kids in bed. By the time I get home, and guess what? You're getting it. It's disturbing. Me and Clark went for a cycle this evening down to the, the great village of Cameras, and I was talking to Pauline and Sean and Del and oh, all the guys. Sure, they're in great form already. Some pub, like up on the foot of the Sleeve Bloom Mountains, in a lovely little sleepy village, and you have the best pub in the world.
music. Music's lovely. They're very good. They have a system in now where it's all um, Spotify and YouTube. And... No way. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. I took a few pictures and I, was in... I wasn't drinking or anything in there. I just yeah. went in to get a look. Of course you weren't. I wouldn't do anything if that's not open yet. Well, um, it's savage. Wait till you see it. I'll be in there tomorrow night anyway. I don't know, but Vicky. She can walk to it now, as you say. I can, and I will. And you can stagger home then. <laughs> I won't be staggering. After one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no physiotherapist, but I wouldn't think that's a great wash job. I want my money back. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a long lane with a lot of timber on it. Which would be a big deal, only irrelevant of time. I have to finish this wood tonight and get moved. So, it's going to be a late one. Put your hair. You have to roll with the punches, you can't have it work out all the time. Just going to make an extra little bit of money to think. Nil wind doesn't blow some good, I suppose. No, I know, I'm getting a little bit greedy for the ground I'm on, but I do want to get home at some stage, you know, just get, get fucking done. Oh, you could do it, wank! Too much of a hurry now, so I can't be wasting time on stacking. So I'm just fucking it out like that. No, I, I, I can't be tipping and tapping. Ah, no, I can't stack it, man. I'm just not able. So, for anyone out there that gives a fucking shite, there's good news and bad news in the how late will David finish tonight's saga. The good news is, lads, move me. He's just out there. He's going to have to arrive. Him. Nice job. Bad news is I'm not fucking finished. Bastards. That, my dear friend, is Eddie Stank. No, his real name isn't Eddie Stank, it's Eddie Stanker, but I like to call him Eddie Stank because he likes a whole bit of stank on it, you know. Now I'm just gonna load my tanks, Greg's tanks, and the area tanks, and all that sort of shite. Try and get over here. Jesus, I'm nice and close to the case there. And off we jolly well go. I'll tell you something. Oh, jeez. Thank God. Thank God. I'm on massive money because you just, you wouldn't motivate yourself to work hard like this unless you were getting serious fucking dollar, you know? There's no eager. No. That, my friends, is what we call in the business a wrap. Bye, Greg. There's only man, one man working tonight, Lee. Me. Oh, me fucking back. friends is what we call in the business a wrap. Bye Greg. There's only man one man working tonight Lee. Me. Oh me fucking back. Keep the lights on Eddie anyway so I can't fucking see anything. Prick ya. That's a fucking dickhead that lad. Shut up, you fucking eager, whoever you are. Now, well, out this fucking wood road, and I'm gonna go home now, and I'm gonna, well, I'm going home, but I'm gonna pull up and balance the floor or something, and get a bag of chips or something. I'm fucking starving. Starving! I did the balls off a low flying duck! I am, um, <clears throat> I'd know to pull up in balance the floor, so I'm actually pulling up in. Angelo's in Shannon Bridge. Look at this, a bit of salt, a bit of vinegar. That's nice. And don't ask me why I'd say I'm in Shannon Bridge when I'm actually in Banner. I, I don't know, that was a brain fart there.
I know for a fact I'm just going to be greeted with What the fuck is this? I'm going to be greeted with just love, care and attention Door's locked So great to be expected. You yeah, happy to see me? Yeah, this hour time. So for the last uh, four or five weeks, I've been getting not and only just message after message, hundreds of messages. In fact, nearly every message that I get on Snapchat now when I open it up is, have you blocked me? Can't see your stories anymore. Are you not putting up any more content? And I'm trying to get back to as many people as I can, one by one, but, you know, I, uh, tiny numbers is all I can reach. And unless they're following me on my other platforms, they don't know what's going on either. But I haven't anyone blocked. My settings are public, and um, I've emailed Snapchat, but it's a faceless company. They don't give a flying fuck about anyone. So yeah, I've hit a brick wall, I don't know what to do. I stay trying to get back to as many as I can, but the reality of that is that I, I'm not going to be able to do that that much. I, so I don't know what to do. 